Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian and it's time for Questions from Kids. Nicholas from Golden Valley, Minnesota asks, Why is Jesus sometimes called the last Adam? Nicholas, that is a great question. You know, in the New Testament books of Romans and 1 Corinthians, it refers to Jesus as the last Adam. Now going all the way back to Genesis, we know that God promised to send a family member, a rescuer, a deliverer, through the family of Adam and Eve to rescue all of humanity from its sin. And so anybody who trusts in Christ is forgiven of sin and that sin consequence of the penalty of death is, is wiped clean because of Jesus. And so what Paul in Romans and 1 Corinthians does is he wants to contrast what Adam didn't do right with what Jesus does right. Adam was tested in the garden and he failed. Jesus was tested and he succeeded. He stayed obedient to the Father, never sinned. And so Adam brought death to all the world through his disobedience, but Jesus brings life to the world through his obedience and his sacrifice on the cross. So that's why we see that Jesus is referred to as the second or the last Adam, contrasting what he did right with what Adam in Eden did wrong. So that's a great question. Thanks for asking that one. I've got a question back for you. How is God's family different than our families on earth? 